Hey, so I was going to show you a little bit about sub-metering because this subject comes up all the time. Everybody wants to know how to sub-meter their electrical, their gas, and their water. So let me turn this around I'll show you this system. Okay, so originally the main water line, this yellow one here, um, followed right down here, went to the hot water heater on the existing house, and then went into the house. What we've done, so we came off that main water line, we did a T ball valve, and then we got our water meter here. So as you can see, we've got three gallons of water that we've run through it already. We ended up putting the spigot here on the main house, so we're gonna disconnect the one in the very front, and that way there's no water being used before it gets to the metering. So any water that's used on the front unit, including outside spigot, will be calculated. Then the second one comes over, 90's up. This is our water meter for the ADU. Got one gallon going to it. And so then we come up and go down and we have our main system. So as I mentioned, there's a lot of conversation we have with our clients about how they can control the utility usage dividing it and so you can obviously meter your electrical and even your gas the water is a little bit tricky because to add a separate water meter from the city can be very expensive if they'll even allow you to do it so it's not as common but with these uh, water meters um, you can have a very simple system such as this where you can come once a month and read them or they can go through your Wi-Fi go to a gateway and you can um, read them remotely or even have a company that can manage that for you so they will remotely read the water usage for each unit and then they can even submit a, a water bill to your tenants so I hope you appreciate this if you have any questions go ahead and ask me and then I'll I'll get back to you thanks